Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up gpotter as your podcast app on Linux. So to start off, you're gonna to need to install it. And there are many ways you can get this app working, but as usual, I will be covering the Flatpak version of it just because we all know that Flatpak works on every Linux desktop. It doesn't matter what, you know, if you're using Ubuntu or Debian or whatever. So go to Flathub and search for gpotter. You can click the install button here. You can also, copy the command or check out the article that I wrote in the description of this video. Uh, you know, I'm going to use the command uh, command line, so I'm going to do this and install the program. So gpotter is a small app, uh, roughly about a megabyte. Uh, you will need to get the language package files, which is, uh, you know, it's another 321 kilobits. So installs fairly quickly. Once it's done installing, you can go ahead and search for gpotter uh, in your app menu. And uh, from here, you can set up your, your account. Now, you don't have to set up an account. I'm not going to do that in this video because we cover that in the article and it's a bit more in depth. And I don't really think it would make sense to show you how to set up an account on a website. You probably already know how to do that. But uh, to start off, you can just go ahead and uh, open the app for the first time. You can click cancel. And then you can go up here to the preferences, go to gpotter.net and log into your user account and all of that. And then you can synchronize if you already have stuff there or if you, or, uh, you know, if you want your stuff backed up. Uh, after that, you can go and get an episode of your favorite podcast grab the feed. There are multiple ways I can get the feed for this. Um, if you can only find an iTunes RSS feed, I actually have in the article I linked to this website that can actually extract iTunes RSS links, and that's pretty useful. But uh, copy the link location, and then you want to go to add podcast for your URL, and then you can click add. Now this will automatically subscribe you to the podcast of your choice. You can then, you'll see a new episodes available thing. Uh, I listen to this podcast all the time, so I've already heard all these, so I can select none and then close it. If I want to download the new episode, just right click and then select download. That will download to my computer very, very quickly. Oh, and by the way, this app also supports syncing to devices, and I think it even handles YouTube, which is pretty useful too. Don't know where I would use that, but definitely something interesting to check out. So once the uh, episode is done, you can right click and select the play button. And that will open up in your player of choice. You can select any of the music players you have on your system. And that is how you subscribe and set up gpotter on Linux. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.